Do you want to know why the pros and the streamers are so calm when they hit the nasty shots? Well, they all share this one thing in common that leads them to just being so good at the game. And this goes on for many other players, and that's just being calm. So, by uh, being calm, it means you're not getting too high on what's going on, but you're not getting too low on what's going on. Now, I'm going to tell you guys five simple tips that you guys can do, anyone can do, that will help you improve your gameplay by staying calm. So we have avoid tunnel vision. So tunnel vision is something that we all do that we don't really recognize that we're doing, but it's a really bad habit to have and you shouldn't be tunnel visioning ever in Siege or any other game just because how it can really, really impact your gameplay by making you unaware and oblivious to what's going on in your surroundings. But uh, you can prevent this by checking in uh, like every like maybe 10 or 20 seconds of what's just going on and by relaxing your body and like, you know, let's say you're Ash coming up the stairs, right? You're, you're trying to sneak up on the enemy and you're so focused. Before you get to the top of the stairs, just relax all your muscles in your body and let the game flow through you and just kind of check in with yourself wait hey, what's going on and just like you know kind of like yo i was just tunnel visioning right there you gotta just snap out of it and reassess so the next one is to absorb as much info as you can um, by doing this there's a voice tunnel vision because you're always thinking about the next thing um you want to keep your drone alive in the beginning phase you always want your drone alive uh, don't worry about once you start playing the game more you won't you'll realize where all the sites are and where people are gonna roam and this is just game sense you gotta play the game to get good at it um you want to listen to your teammates calls whether you're solo queuing or you're five stacking it's really easy to just tune out your team and focus on what's going on but most of the time they call out it's very crucial for you to get those opening picks uh and the last one is looking at who's dead, what's the kill feed looking like, what's the time looking like. You want to absorb all the information and make your actions based on um, the conditions of the game. Uh, number three is think optimistic. By thinking optimistic, this makes the game so much easier and more fun to play. You're probably thinking, what do you mean by, you know, thinking optimistic? I think I'm telling you that Every time something happens, whether it's good or bad, there's a hundred different outcomes that could have happened. When you get a one tap through a barricade, you know, that's like a very lucky chance. But then you get one tap through a barricade. You got to understand that the chances like of that happening again are not going to happen. You just have to drop that and move on. Like same thing with someone's hiding in a rat corner. It's just one game. You're not going to go against these guys for the rest of the match. This is not your ranked experience. This is not what's going to happen. And by uh, also just, just moving on, like people dwell on mistakes so long that it just becomes it just becomes a negative part of their gameplay and it's going to affect their mood for the rest of the day. So think optimistic. Think of what you could have done better. And that leads to the fourth one. Thinking of why you died. So you're probably wondering how all these tips relate to being calm. It's a lot of self-thinking and self-assessment with yourself. And that might sound a little corny, but it's just how you get good at the game. You always have to be better than yourself than you were yesterday. And uh, a quick thing on how to learn from your mistakes. I might do a video on this in the future, but just briefly, uh, by learning from your mistakes, knowing how you died, and about 90% of the time, you have to blame on yourself. You can't be blaming on the game and teammates the whole time. You're never going to get it good if you keep doing that. I don't care if there's your solo queue and they don't have mics. I don't care if they're a level 30 fuse, not knowing what to do. You can't blame them for that. You can't blame them for playing the game like that. What you can do is... 
just stay happy stay positive i mean you're gonna get paired with bad people sometimes but you know it's it's up to you to who you play with if you think they're bad if you think you're the, if you're if you're saying that the only reason you're still stuck in gold or you're still stuck in plat is because my teammate keeps doing this my friend keeps doing this then stop playing with them it's that simple stop playing with them move on meet new people and the last thing is music so this is a very good way to stay calm in a lot of games it i would either if you're good at playing it really low when you're playing that's fine but i like to i like to kind of keep my headset clear and listen in between rounds i keep it up at like medium to low sound um play songs you know that are catchy songs that you like songs that like make you hype and just give you more confidence in the round and i would use music as more of a utility less than keeping it on because if you just keep it on you're just going to tune it out and you're just going to lose the purpose of it and you're not gonna you're not gonna music's just not gonna help you so i hope you guys enjoy these five easy tips to stay calm and remember um if you guys do want anything else explained more or you found something helpful please let me know i'm always trying to improve my videos so you guys have a good day or night peace and i stream daily um <laughs> i try well some days uh you know most of the time i stream but i'll try to make videos as consistent as possible project day is coming out in a few weeks i'm excited if you guys are excited please comment below comment anything below say hi i'll say hi back <laughs> it's that simple all right peace guys i'll see you in the next one